Okay, there's a, uh, a pinkish flower geranium uh, hanging basket. I just bought this about a week ago at uh, Lowe's, a week or two ago at Lowe's. It was uh, $20, but it was half price at $10. And I thought it was in pretty good shape, so I went in and bought it. None of the flowers were blooming then. They're just starting to, to bloom now. And this right here is another hanging basket that I have. It's called uh, Angel Angel Wing Begonia. And uh, the price tag on there is actually $18.99. I bought this at the greenhouse. Uh, they had a special. They already have 20% off uh, items that they're selling in, in on this, this time of the year that they're having. And they had additional uh, sale on hanging baskets. But I like this <laughs> hanging basket. It's got uh, pink, pink and white flowers. It was better than the red flowers. I had to make a decision, and this had some color on it. It reminds me of the dogwood, the same type of color a dogwood might have. So, uh, so that's my begonia. Pretty, isn't it? Pretty good. Uh, pretty good price. I think it's somewhere around. Uh, ten to twelve dollars something like that might uh, be like twenty or twenty five dollars at a place this right here I bought at uh, Walmart and uh, when you consider what I just showed you this actually might be a little overpriced it's just twelve dollars and forty eight cents at uh, Walmart and I, I love this plant I just can't pronounce it, but it's C O L E U S. Col Colus. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Hopefully, I spelled it right. But I'll get a, a closer, a closer look on it. And I thought it was pretty colorful. It really looks nice when uh, you know the sun is hitting and it's nice and bright and you can really see it good. And I have all this in my front yard. Okay, what you're looking at now, I transplanted this from a pot to a bigger pot. You can see it's a pretty good sized pot. This is what you call an umbrella tree. And I had it in my greenhouse, I don't know, three or four years ago, or longer. And uh, it got kind of cold and, and looked like uh, I might have, it might have froze to death. You're not supposed to have this umbrella tree in temperatures below 50 degrees. So I had it below 50. And uh, it did some damage to it, but it recovered pretty nicely. And uh, the roots were so large that I had to get a bigger pot for it. There's a, uh, a hanging basket. I'm not really sure what the name of this is. You know, the, the basket I bought at the greenhouse where uh, George works. And uh, and I did see a name of it, but I don't remember the name of it. Not as familiar with this one. But it, uh, I like it when it goes on the basket. You can't see the basket. That it grows so much and it comes down and droops on the uh, bottom. So that's my precious uh, plant. Then I have one hanging basket I'm working on. This is not in a hanging basket. But I don't know what you call that. I think it was like baby tears or something like that. It may not be the proper name for it. Going by what George told me, but only by what I remember him saying. It could have been, he could have been saying something else. But I want that to droop down on a hanging basket like uh, you know, like it would cover up the basket. And It'd be like having, look like a big gigantic hair. It's got to be trimmed now and then.